The music of the Middle East has a long tradition going back many centuries. It has had a strong influence on other kinds of music and on many composers such as Rimsky-Korsakov, Khachaturian, and even Mozart and Beethoven. When we speak of the Middle East, we mean those countries surrounding the eastern end of the Mediterranean Sea. In ancient times, each of these countries had its own type of music. In the 7th century, a new religion, the Mohammedan religion, came into being. And the followers of Muhammad spread from Arabia and conquered all of this area right across North Africa on up into Spain. From Arabia, the followers of Muhammad also moved north and after many centuries reached the part of Europe known today as the Balkans. These conquerors carried the music of each of the conquered countries with them and eventually certain elements of each country's music came to be shared by all the people of this region. Today, as you hear the music of some of these peoples and see their instruments being played, you will discover how closely all of their music is related. An important musical instrument throughout the Middle East is the oud. The oud belongs to the lute family of instruments and is played with a feather from an eagle. On the oud, it is possible to play notes that are very close together. It is also possible to slide from one note to another. Notice how elaborately the notes in the melody you just heard were ornamented. Because the oud can do all these things, it has had a strong influence on the melodies of the countries in which it is used. Along with the melody, another important element in the music of the Middle East is rhythm. A popular rhythm instrument is the derbaki. A derbaki is a small drum made out of fire-hardened clay much as a ceramic vase or pot is made. It has a single drum head made out of goat skin. The derbaki can make a variety of sounds. The derbaki provides an exciting rhythmic accompaniment for the oud. You will notice that this piece has essentially two elements, rhythm and melody. There is not as much harmony or chords as there is in the music that you are used to hearing. This is true of much Middle Eastern music.
along with percussion instruments such as the derbaki and lute-like instruments such as the oud, another important group of instruments in the Middle East is the zither family. These instruments lie flat and have many strings. One such instrument is the santur. The santur is played by two wooden mallets.